This tutorial is for the feeder scanner we use here in the laboratory, which is an Epson FF640. Along with this scanner, we will be using Epson's Fast Photo software. There are a few things you'll need to do before your appointment. The first thing you'll need to do is organize your photos. Start by pulling out any Polaroid photos, since these are too thick to go through the scanner. Next, remove any photos that are sticky. These may get stuck and jam the scanner. Don't worry though, you can use the flatbed scanner to convert these photos later. Once you have removed any Polaroids or sticky photos, organize your photos by event, location, or date. This will help you organize them into folders when you scan them. Finally, we recommend organizing your photos by size. This will help to prevent any accidental cropping when the photos are scanned. Once all of your photos are organized, you'll need to decide how you will save your digital photos. You will need to provide your own storage device. Some common options are CDs, flash drives, SD cards, or external hard drives. For your convenience, the Friends of LCPL offer CDs and flash drives for sale. CDs are $1 each, and a 16 gigabyte flash drive is $8. When you arrive for your appointment, the scanner and the computer will both be on with the Fast Photo software open and ready for you to use. Before you start, make sure you insert your CD or plug in your flash drive, SD card, or external hard drive. If you are planning on directly uploading your photos to Dropbox or Google, you can skip this step. Before we start scanning, I am going to walk you through Fast Photos features. Here at the top of the window, you'll see several options. We are going to start all the way on the right side of the window with Settings. In Settings, you will see four tabs at the top of the window. We'll start here on the left with Organization. The Organization tab is where you will select your storage device. Do this by clicking on the little file folder here. Next, select your storage device from the list on the left side. At this point, you can also create a main folder for your photos. You can do this by right-clicking in this box and selecting New and Folder from the drop-down menu. Don't forget to name this folder. Since this folder will contain all or most of your photos, you can just name it something generic like Photos or Memories. Next, you can add a prefix to your photos. This can be something generic like photos or something more specific like mom 1982. After selecting a prefix, make sure to select prompt me to describe each batch of photos before scanning. This will allow you to create a new subfolder for each set of photos that you scan, as well as describe when and where they were taken. Once you're done with that, you can move on to the enhancements tab. Here, you are given several options for enhancing your scanned photos. These options include auto enhance, remove red eye, and restore faded colors. You also have the option of applying these enhancements directly to the scanned photos or to a second copy of the photo. I usually recommend applying to a copy, that way you can choose which version you like better. Once you've made your selections, open the Scan Settings tab. Select your scan resolution here. Best Photo offers either 300 or 600 dpi. If you want a higher resolution than 600 dpi, you'll need to use the flatbed scanner. One neat feature of the Epson FF640 scanner is that it can scan the backs of your photos at the same time as it scans the front. To do this, you will select Scan the back of my photos. Then, you can choose to have the scanner scan the backs of photos with dark, medium, or light writing, or you can choose to have it scan the backs of all photos. At this point, you can also choose to have the scanner reduce any lines and streaks on your photos. The last tab is the Upload tab. If you are uploading your scanned photos directly to Dropbox or Google Drive, this is when you will choose that location. All you have to do is select whichever service you want to use and log in. Once you have selected all of the settings you want, you can select OK down at the bottom right corner of the screen. This will take you back to the first page. Now you are ready to insert your first set of photos into the scanner. Photos should be inserted upside down and backwards into the scanner. 
Then move the guides in so they are flush with the photos. Also, make sure to only feed 30 photos or less at a time in order to prevent the scanner from jamming. If you are scanning more than one size at a time, make sure the photos are inserted with the largest in the front and the smallest in the back like you see here. This should prevent the larger photos from being accidentally cropped to the size of the smaller photos. After you put your photos in the scanner, select Start Scanning. If you selected the option to describe each set of photos, you will see this window pop up next. Here, you can choose a year, a season, and add a short description for your photos. You can also choose to create a subfolder for this batch of photos within that main folder we created earlier. When you're ready, select Start Scanning. Your photos should start feeding through the scanner immediately. Once all of your photos have gone through the scanner, you will be prompted to either scan more photos into this batch, or you can finish scanning this set by selecting Done Scanning. If you are scanning more photos, remove the first set and insert the next set before selecting Scan Next Batch because it will start scanning immediately. Once you have scanned all of your photos, select Done Scanning. Once Fast Photo has finished adding any enhancements you selected in Settings, you will be able to see your photos in the Fast Photo window. If you chose to have your enhancements applied to a copy of your photos, you will see that they are labeled like this with the number and then A and B after. The photo with just a number is the original, A is the enhanced copy, and B is the back of the photo. If you did not scan the back of the photo, then the numbering and letters will be a little bit different. Next, let's move to the Edit tab. Make sure you select the photo you want to edit, then you can select from several editing options. Rotate left, rotate right, crop, enhance, restore, red eye, and date. If you dislike the edits you've made, select Undo All to revert to the original image. If you realize that you scanned photos you don't need, or that you prefer an enhanced version over an original, you can select that unwanted photo and select Delete. This will remove the photo from Fast Photo as well as your storage location. Once you are finished scanning your first set of photos, you can immediately move on to your next set. Just follow the steps we went through earlier as you load more photos, select Start Scanning, and follow through the prompt. When you're finished, close out a Fast Photo. Don't forget to close and eject your flash drive, external drive, or CD, or log out of Google Drive or Dropbox.